challenger in the red corner. He's wearing these sky blue and silver shorts. He weighed in at nine stone, three pounds and 12 ounces. He comes to the ring with a professional record of 30 contests, winning 24, 10 inside a scheduled distance, four losses and two draws. He is the former WBC International and WBO Supercontinental Super Featherweight Champion from Willen Hall in Coventry, Dean the Pitbull Piffy. And in the blue corner, wearing the black and silver shorts, he weighed in at nine stone, four pounds. He comes to the ring with 24 professional contests, winning 18, seven inside the scheduled distance, four losses and two draws. He is the former WBU featherweight champion and current Commonwealth super featherweight champion, from Liverpool, Alex Moon. We pay our commands at all times. Good luck to you. We take care. God made the best man win. God bless. A match the boxing connoisseurs have been talking a fair bit about since it was made with totally split free fight predictions. Alex Moon and Dean Pithy can both box outstanding amateurs who so nearly tackled each other they turned professional at the same time have sparred together and now finally meet it's the snappy skills of dean pithy the man groomed from stardom but fell from grace against the rugged determination of alex moon who came up the quiet way but is now in control of the commonwealth title at this level it could be an engaging affair between two fighters who at this stage cannot afford to lose. Well, I'm amazed that it has taken this long for these two to get together. Right back from their amateur days, they've always been round and about to box each other, but never been throwing out the same hat. And now it's happening. This is a real even money contest. Dean's got to start fast. He's got to look to put those combinations together. But Alex Moon will be looking to take this one into the trenches in the later rounds. Already a reddening on the face of Dean Pithy. It's a fast, electric start from both men. Pithy was so fired up a couple of hours ago. He wanted to get the fight on here and now, and then looked a bit nervous backstage. He uh, realizes that this is the one he can't afford to slip up in. Doubling up well in the hook there, Piffy. Moon keeping nice and tight, just looking to bob and weave, get inside. Behind that jab, good body shot again from Piffy there. With the right hand, the Coventry man. So famous as the last man to beat Nassim Hammond, but uh, unfortunately can't hold that tag anymore. Now he craves for his first major title. Did win an intercontinental belt when he was moving up the boxing ladder. But some serious defeat set him back. Boxing well, looking sharp. Says he's trained harder than for any fight in his life. Yeah, he certainly looks in good condition, Pippi. Moon getting through with a good left hook of his own there. Very well schooled boxers. Nice fast combination from Pithy, which Moon partially blocks. Yeah, Moon covering up well there, getting the hands up nice and high at the start. Here, Moon, but Pithy done what he said he was going to do. Straight left well. hook to the body from Dean Pithy, and one to the head. He looks really sharp tonight. It's an excellent opener from the local man from the Willenhall area of Coventry. Much loved in these parts and determined to make up for lost time by capturing this belt. Pithy's round. Well, new trainer Steve Early there with Dean Pithy saying he's boxing exactly as he told him he should do. Very pleased with their first round. Yeah, good start from Pippi. Drove in the body shots well there. 
good right hand to the body and then the hooks switching them from body to head Alex Moon is a notorious slow starter anyway but Dean Pippi done what he said he was going to do and start fast good here's start. the second round for the Commonwealth Super Featherweight title it's the third defence from Liverpool's Alex Moon who's come down from the Pesacoli area to tackle Coventry's Dean Pippi and starting to get his jab working now Moon outworked in the first and must stay with Pippi and not let a big lead slip that's a good jab from Pippi that rocks the head back of Alex Mood. Neither are huge punches, but both could hurt the other. They can box and they've got plenty of pride. It's a difficult one, this. Yeah, they both punch with respect, not knockout punches. They do punch with respect. They're both wearing the Mexican raised gloves as well, which are punches gloves. Pippi just trying to take the centre of the ring in there at the moment, whipping out that fast jab. Sometimes the Dean Pippi problem is that he charges in and is open to the right uppercut and other shots on the inside. But he seems to be boxing at distance tonight, unlike his tag on the shorts of Pitbull. Right tactics. Nice left uppercut, right hand there from Pippi. Two punch combination. Boxing well here. Getting off first with his shots. Moon needs to get inside that jab of Pippi's and let his own combinations go. Pippi's boxing the better at long range here. Just a slip there for Dean Pippi. Some water in the red corner, his own, which Steve Early and Jack Weaver clean up. The new team with Dean Pippi under the Capital Promotions banner. There's been a surge of boxing here in Coventry and it's given Pippi a new lease of life. And look at how he's taking this chance so far. We're not seeing too much from Moon at the moment. Spending a lot of time just bobbing and weaving, slipping side to side, but no punches actually coming back. Good shot there from Moon, though. Got through with a sneaky right hand. Yes, best right that Alex Moon's thrown in the first six minutes. Apart from that, it's been all pippy. Who needs just to hold his ground and use that extra bit of weight. He's the bigger man on the night. And he needs to make that count. Yeah, Pippi the one dominating on the outside at the moment. Moon needs to get this fight in close. Good right from Pippi. And again his round. Welcome back to the Sky Dome commentary. Here's Steve Early in the corner of Dean Pippi. Telling him that he's sensational. Well, he's boxed very, very well for the first two rounds. 111 thrown to Moon's 84. More landed for Pippi, too. But interestingly, in the other corner, John Smith said champion's round. What did you think? No, I think that Pippi's dominated those first two rounds. He's the one getting off of his shots first. He seems a sharp with a two in there. Moon is a notorious slow starter, though. We've seen it time and time again. Moon will pick up from round six onwards. That will be his territory. Pippi dominating early here. It's the black and silver trunks of the 30-year-old cab driver from Liverpool in his 25th outing. Pithy in his 31st. Moon, who won this Commonwealth title in March of last year with a controversial win over Charlie Shepherd, which most people felt he got. And then he's defended twice against a couple of Australians, Kari Masher and Mick O'Malley. It's a bit of blood on the forehead of Dean Pithy. Not sure where that's come from. Moon just starting to find the range with that right hand. Pippi got to be careful, carrying his own left quite low. We were saying beforehand, Pippi, that Alex Moon has boxed exactly the same from when he was an amateur, having over 100 contests there, very good one, till today in 2002. You've sparred with him, is that right? 
Yeah, Alex has always had that sort of style. It's obviously effective, though, through what he's won in the amateurs. He's done well as a professional. Very strong little fighter, but Alex has been the same for a number of years. And I know these two have sparred before, but that was quite some time ago. Yes, it was when they were both boxing for England alongside Spencer Oliver here. Both nice characters as well. And it's good that Alex Moon has managed to win a Commonwealth title. But will he keep hold of it? Nice work again from Pippi. Pippi's the one getting off with the shots first. Haven't seen too much from Moon yet. Mean needs to start letting his own shots go. Looks so very sharp, Pippi, who's trained five days a week, three times a day. He said, any worry about that weakness to the body, you can throw out of the window because my body is armor-plated. How does he look to you? You haven't been so close to him this time, but physically? Physically, he looks in great condition, Dean. Not carrying any weight, looks solid all round, as does Alex Moon. I think they're both up for this one. They're both in tremendous shape. This man is doing a, doing a bit of sparring with Peter Colshaw, just uh, who moved him around up in Liverpool. Always trains fanatically hard, but is having difficulties getting into this one. Live horse racing action for you here on Sky Sports Sunday. The meetings at Haydock and Bath. That's from 3 o'clock on Sky Sports 3. And on Monday evening, the meetings from Windsor and Wolverhampton. That's from 6.30 on Sky Sports 1 on Monday evening. This one's off to a pretty brisk start, too. Extremely fast ball. A terrific pace being set by Coventry's Dean Piffy. Looking to re-establish himself in the super featherweight division currently ranked about five and as uh, Larry O'Connell just puts one of the advertising boards back in place Alex Moon possibly the number one in the country Kevin Lear would debate that he just had that terrific win over Michael Gomez and Alex Arthur the Edinburgh fighter well he may be the best of the bunch but at the moment this is a very good match for the Commonwealth title yeah, Pippi got off to the better start. Moon getting through with a good right hand of his own there. And doubling up on the left hook. Pippi got to keep the hands tight. Terrific work from Alex Moon, who smiles at Dean Pippi. And back comes the Coventry Super Featherweight with a combination of his own. And glares down at ringside. He's very, very focused, Pippi. But uh, it's Moon who's been on the roll of late and who's been fighting in championship class. Will that make a difference? There's a good start to this round. We know Moon's a slow starter and he started this round very, very well. Got through a couple of good right hands there. No head movement from Pippi. Let's see him slip in a few more of those shots. Moon just waiting trying to throw out the extended left jab but uh, being beaten to the punch in the middle of the ring by Pippi who puts a sweet uppercut on the inside which follows a couple of jabs this is quality boxing from two good British operators who are not going to set the world on fire but uh, they're giving the crowd here plenty of enjoyment and showing us their skills. Yeah, real even money fight here. Both trading blow for blow in this round. Moon started the round well. Pithy just with uh, a slight swelling underneath the right eye. Had a brutal battle with Michael Gomez for the British title, the Pithy did, which he lost on points both broke their hands in the fight both were on the floor so any question mark over the heart or bottle of Biffy whether he might have stayed down those couple of times he lost to body shots well that would be thrown out of the window on the Gomez performance when he's up for it 
He's very good, Pepe. Well, the local corner, but uh, didn't he lose that last round, Spencer? Who yeah, did well. Good work there from Moon. There was a solid right hand that went in again from another angle. And Moon, for the first time, starting to get close. If he coming back with a good shot of his own, with the motion around, the better work was done by Moon. Here's round number five of an intriguing encounter, which on paper looked good and in reality is just as impressive. Good combinations from Dean Pithy, who had the better start, but Alex Moon just creeping back into it as he seems to do. And it could be who lasts longer down the stretch. Moon who failed in his British title challenge to John Joe Irwin. But now holds this Commonwealth title, which can earn him a bit of money if he can keep successfully defending it. Yeah, Moon's come on well late in his career, 30 years of age now, and really having his best spell. Just starting to get closer now, Moon working well behind that jab. If he needs to get that head moving, needs to start slipping inside those shots of Moon. Low from Pippi there. Moon didn't complain. And that was a better right hand that did get through from the Will and All man. And again, Moon looks open to that shot. Yeah, solid right hand again from Pippi. Moon carrying that left hand quite low. Coming back well with the right hand of his own. It's really tit, for, trading. tit for tat here, very difficult to split these two. And uh, Larry O'Connell, the man in the middle, who will be having to do that should it go the distance. He's got a hard task on his hands scoring this. If he complains, interestingly, that that was low, I wonder if he's going for the left hook to the body, Alex Moon. And uh, they were talking about a seventh, eighth round stoppage being their pre-fight plan. Well, Moon there, we see, looking for that left hook to the body, looking to get closer now. See a change in the tactics now, Pippi the one boxing. The outside, Moon now pressing forward, looking to push this one on now. Trying to get closer, Moon, but just leaves himself open. And the crowd here spurring Pippi on. He's concentrating, Dean Pithy, like I haven't seen him before in a long time. But yeah. has he got the willpower and the know-how to deal with a man in Moon who's got few faults? The yeah, Moon's very, very solid, loves to come forward. Press on late in contest, and that's what he's doing right now. Keeping the hands up nice and tight as well there, Moon. Well, how on earth do you score this round? It's got to be level, hasn't it? Yeah, I couldn't separate them there. They really were trading. Blow for blow. It's a great matchup and a great mix in a growing division worldwide. Asselino Freitas, the brilliant Brazilian knockout specialist who unified the titles when he beat Joel Casamayor. Steve Forbes, who's come up quietly to win the IBF title. WBC vacant because Floyd Mayweather's moved up to lightweight. He was won the WBC lightweight title. Kevin Lear with that win over Michael Gomez recently. Arguably our number one, or is it Alex Moon as the Commonwealth champion? And then European holder, Afif Jelti, the man who's beaten both of these two in the sixth round and last week at the age of 43 and a grandfather took the European title on foreign soil. Explain. I cannot explain that. That man just amazes me. He's getting better with age. Afif Jelti, 43 years of age, is going to lift the European title. Amazing. That's a phenomenal man. Low from Moon there, who is looking for those body shots. It was in this very ring when Spencer was training Dean Pippi. 
that pithy fell in this round to Afif Jelti from a huge wild left hook to the body and well you tell me why didn't he get up he got caught with a good left hook it happened again when he boxed Gary Fournier we got caught with a good left hook it just really knocks the sails out of you when you get hit up the body it really does kill you and it's hard to get up from those shots he didn't against Jelti oh good work there from Pippi doesn't look like he's going to come a cropper to that so far keeping his elbows tucked in the Liverpool corner are saying he's tired this is time to step up the pace Alex Moon but Pippi to me looks very fresh still yeah boxing well Pippi Moon you can tell trying to put in a big effort to pick this up claw his way back into it getting through with the occasional right hand Moon if he needs to start moving that waist. We know these two have almost identical records. They both were knocked out by Afif Jelti for the IBO title in the sixth round. Who lost in Manchester. He was knocked out by a left hook to the head, which was a bad, bad knockout. And uh, he did well to come back and retain his Commonwealth title after that. That's credit to Alex Moon and his training team. Yeah, he did really do well to come out from, to come back from such a bad knockout as that one. And boxing quite well here, Moon as well. Pippi just with his nose in front at the moment. Good work again from Pippi, countering well with that right hand. And again, terrific combination, speed and class from Dean Pippi. Is this the night? that he puts it all together. The former amateur champion who's disappointed really as a professional. Is this when it comes good? Alex Moon getting a little bit desperate now. A couple of straight low with the left hand. He really wants that pithy body. Yeah, that's the game plan to take Pippi into the later rounds. Work that body. But he has working well in this round Pippi putting the combinations together lovely well, what an excellent fight tactically for the boxing fans and the connoisseurs and uh, Duke McKenzie joins us at ringside Duke it's a fascinating one well, I'll tell you what Dean Pippi's boxing absolutely out of his skin he's winning the fight on the inside he's winning the fight on the outside he's going back quite deliberately trying to draw Alex Moon in and he's counting with right hands over the top he's got a slight little mouse above his above his right eye I think it is Pippi's being very sensible at the minute. He's boxing quite within himself. The pace of the fight suits him. You know, Moon's forcing the fight, but every time Moon gets on top, Pippi comes back with a nice little combination and nicks the rounds. Yeah, that's what he's doing, he's just nicking the rounds. Not doing nothing crazy, just boxing well within himself and winning the rounds. He's up at this stage, but Moon can come on so strong in the next half of the fight. Well, that's where Moon likes to fight. He likes to fight in the second half of it. He likes to come on strong. I, I'm not saying he gave way to the first few rounds deliberately, but we know he's a little bit of a slow starter. Pippi's got to be on his guard from here on in. Second half of a thoroughly entertaining Commonwealth title fight at nine stone four. Remember the champion Alex Moon from Liverpool down here in Coventry, away from home and having to fight really the fight of his life to keep up with Dean Pithy. The talent from Coventry says he's the best fighter to come out of these parts since Errol Christie has never really proved it when the going's got tough. Yeah, Dean's never got over that final hurdle when he's boxed all those titles. He's always seemed to come apart, but he's boxing beautifully here this evening. Just nicking the rounds. Let's have a look at your scorecard. You've got Pithy now three ahead. Yes, Dean's getting first to the punch. He's winning fights on the inside, the outside. Putting those combinations together well. I have Pithy two up, and that's the genuine consensus at ringside. And he's started to really believe in himself, Dean Pithy. There was a time when he won the Intercontinental title a few years back, beating Steffi Ball that he defended against Paul Griffin, and he was firing on all cylinders at that time in his career. 
It took the left hook to the body of Gary Thornhill to derail him, but look how he's fighting tonight. Full of belief and confidence and boxing like we'd always hoped he would. Excellent cluster of punches again from Pippi. Moon's being found to wait what he wants in there. He needs to get his own shots off. Moon, who was outboxed by John Joe Owen and Afib Shelty. He dealt with the wild style of Karim Nasher. And Mick O'Malley, his last opponent, was, to be honest, pretty faded. I wonder, too, if Moon's struggling at the weight. He came in as high as welterweight for a, a warm-up fight before the O'Malley one against Peter Buckley. And uh, he's so big for a super feather. Yeah, I don't think that's no secret move. You can tell looks at weight division higher in there. He is very, very big for a super feather, but Pippi getting through some good shots there. Moon wits at one that went in from the body. And three or four more to the head from Dean Pippi, who's putting on a boxing spectacular here in Coventry. He said he would. And at the moment, everything's going right for Dean Pippi. Left up to the body, though, from Alex Moon, got through. Well, Pithy said, he's trained hard, he's run well, and he looks in supreme condition. Interesting, these two fighters meet for the first time, and the two trainers actually sparred together, John Smith and Steve Early, and it's the first time they've seen each other in years. But it's uh, the commentary man who is well ahead, isn't it? Yeah, 50 winning now by four rounds on my card. Just first to the punch, too sharp for Moon at the moment. But Moon coming back well at the end of that last round. Started to get through with the occasional right hand. Pippi's got to be careful. Here's the eighth. The round that Alex Moon retained his Commonwealth title against Mick O'Malley. But how easy a night was that for the Liverpool fighter and how hard and grueling has this been but this time for him to get back into it if he can get some sort of foothold and really hurt Pippi now that's what he's got to do well this is Moon's territory now this is where he should be coming on strong the trouble is he only has seven knockout wins Pippi has ten the slightly crisper puncher. Excellent work again there from Pippi. Clusters of punches getting through with the right hand. Moon still trying to press on hard. Again, Pippi comes back so well with counters at distance. It's a real chess match, these two. Neither has looked in any particular trouble or likely to go down but they both caught each other with plenty of punches and uh, it's a classy affair in there again Pippi get through with that solid right hand boxing well on the outside Moon just can't get close enough at the moment Pippi beating him in every department the Liverpool corner shouting pressure Pippi pressure him Alex but he's having difficulty because of the speed and timing, which is so good tonight from Dean Pippi. Yeah, it's all come together for him so far, but these are the danger rounds for Pippi. This is where Moon likes to come on strong. But boxing beautifully at the moment, Pippi, putting the combinations together well, head and body. His trainer, Steve Early, had a call two years ago from Dean Pippi and said he wouldn't take him on unless he was really serious and six weeks ago he went to steve early and said okay i'm gonna do this properly and he's done it so far but there are still over four rounds to go and he cannot get careless as sometimes he has done in the past good right uppercut went in there from moon trying to cut off the corners alex moon but it was a better first half of the round for Pippi and the experience of Moon trying to come on.
and it won't steal the judges because there's only one of them tonight, referee Larry O'Connell. And he's far too experienced to fall for that trick. We'll catch him on you are doing beautiful, buddy. Have a quick drink. Go on, sir. Keep off, wait on him, don't get both in the draw. You're doing the best. Very, very confident. Steve Early with the Pithy really boosting him up. And look at how they're trying to get Alex Moon going in the champion's corner. You've got to start working, they're saying. They know they're behind. And he's got just 12 minutes left to hang on to his Commonwealth title, Spencer, because Pithy is surely well ahead. Yeah, I've got Pithy. Five rounds up now in there. There's the speed of punch. Good combination again from Pippi. That's been the story of this contest. Pippi getting off first, putting those combinations together. You don't win six national junior titles. Boxing the Europeans win 61 of 72 amateur fights, including the scalp of Nassim Hamad, if you can't box. And tonight, Dean Pippi is putting it together in the professional ring for the best time ever, really just has to stick in there great right hand and moon has to give ground good work to the body there from pithy as well and again the body shot from pithy he's hardly put a foot wrong he's kept so sprightly on his toes as well tonight dean pithy moving brilliantly do you think he really is fitter than when he was with you but he's certainly putting the shots together better. He's working really well in there, but the, the thing that's been his advantage in this contest for Pippi is he's controlled the pace of the fight. He's boxing at the pace that he wants to. Moon's not pressing enough. Moon's just stalking forward and not actually doing enough work. Pippi's controlling the pace in there and a the pace that he's comfortable with. An excellent rhythm from Dean Pippi. Wonderful uppercut from the Coventry fighter. Why didn't he do this earlier on in his career? There's so much talent. And, uh, well, the two corners at ringside tell the story, really. The Liverpool, John Smith, Tosh Fielding, Benny King, all shouting at Alex Moon, and a calm corner from the local team. Brilliant, fast hands. And Moon, at the moment, has no answer to the steady pressure and superior boxing skills of Dean Pippi. Yeah, Moon's face looking very red and swollen in there at the moment. Pippi getting off with those shots, lovely. And Moon just can't cope with the speed of Pippi. Lightning hands in there. He puts clusters together very well, Dean Pippi. I remember that when he knocked out Andrew Matabola in a couple of rounds up here almost three years ago. That finish, the hand speed he's got. Yeah, that's always been one of his strong qualities, Dean Pippi. Does put the combinations together well. And got tremendous hand speed. Again, getting through with a couple of good shots. And Alex Moon just left standing there. No head movement from Moon. No effective pressure. It's another pithy round, much to the delight of the Coventry fans at ringside who've come to support him. Right over the top. He ain't catching a lot of it, but he's catching it. The only way you can lose this fight is if you lose it. You are well ahead. You're boxing fabulously well. The best I've ever seen you box. And it's sharp. Do me a favor. Just go out and go bang, bang, bang. Double this. The best I've ever seen you box. Would you agree with that? Yeah, Dean Pippi's boxing tremendous in there. This is just the quality punches he's been throwing all through this contest. The hand speed is tremendous of Pippi putting the shots together, and it's all come right for him on a night that really was make or break. If he'd lost this one, Pippi, or if he loses this one, he knows it's over. At the moment, he's dominating, boxing like a man that knows this could be his last contest. Well, there's the 188th round of Dean Pippi's career and the 158th of Alex Moon, two consummate professionals who've given their all to domestic boxing over the last seven years since they turned professional back in 1995 together. They've always wanted to meet 
tonight they have and it has been Dean Pithy who has controlled this fight almost from start to finish there is about eight and a half minutes left for Alex Moon to turn this around is it possible well at the moment you say it doesn't look possible Pithy working well look at the combinations again going in from Pithy good right hand back from Moon though You'd wonder if Moon had a real concussive punch, then maybe he could just alter the outcome. Pithy must be so far ahead on the card of Larry O'Connell, who's actually wearing boxing boots tonight for the first time I've seen him, Larry, and he's needed to, to uh, flit around these two. He's had to keep busy himself but well, not get involved. <laughs> well, Pippi's certainly been covering a lot of the area of that ring, moving side to side, throwing those combinations, and away again. Body shot went in from Alex Moon, and for the first time, Pippi just took a gulp of breath, and he's really going for that area now. Oh, this will be terrible if Dean Pippi subsides once again to the danger spot. Surely not. He seems to be momentarily hurt there, Pippi. Did bend over a bit, but still moving well, so seems to have got over it. Moon now, boxing like a man that's desperate to find that one punch. Moon really swinging these hooks. One or two straying low, but a couple hit the midriff as they tumble towards the Pippi corner. Both tiring now, it's been fought at a frenetic pace. And it has been an excellent match. No doubt about that. Again, Moon looking for that left hook to the body. I think he feels it. Pippi's going down there. Well, both managers are up at ringside as well. Kevin Houston urging Dean Pippi, his man on. And Tommy Gilmore saying, go for that body, which Moon's done again. And Pippi's hurt by the right hook. Well, are we about to have a turnaround? Dean Pithy holds on. He's trained so hard for six weeks. But did he really have to train hard all the time? Will it catch up with him? For the first time, Pithy's starting to look a little tired. Good round. Very but Alex Moon there. Very, very weary when he comes back to the corner. Let's listen to Steve Early. Come on. Sharp, Dino. Sharp. Don't let him catch it. There's a jab's coming down. Don, it's got to come back. Please do it because you've got two more rounds to go. And you're the champion. You win these two rounds and you are the champion. You can't do nothing about it. Don't get involved. Keep standing back. Please do it, says Steve Early. Two more rounds and you're champion. Don't let it go now. Well, that's exactly what it is. Two more rounds. Moon for the first time getting close. Letting those body shots go. Dean's got to keep moving now. Keep throwing those clusters of punches. Because Moon's dangerous when he gets inside. What a very, very weary Dean Pithy. At the end of the round, he's had a minute to freshen up. And there's six minutes for Alex Moon to try and force a dramatic stoppage because surely he can't win on points. Spencer and I both got Pithy miles and miles in front. And he started this 11th sharp, Dean Pithy. He cannot afford to let himself get backed up on the ropes. If he can't afford to stand still, he's got to get that natural movement moving from side to side. Moon's starting to find the range with that right hand now. Moon's the man that's desperate. He knows that he's only got six minutes to turn this one around. Surely he can't be in front or break possibly as well for Alex Moon who at 30 is getting on for a super featherweight but he would have a chance to come back for Dean Pithy this is everything the last five minutes I would say are the most important five minutes of Dean Pithy's boxing career and listen to these fans supporting him on again Moon going for that left hook to the body Pithy looking tired now starting to stand the ground Good right hand over the top from Alex Moon. 
but Pithy responds with an excellent barrage, although he suddenly looks shaky on his legs. This is a dramatic finish to what has been a beautifully schooled fight. Yeah, been a tremendous contest. Moon again looking for them hooks. Getting through the right hook to the body. Pippi bending over. Pippi looking very tired in there now. Moon throwing everything at Dean Pippi's body. Remember, Pippi said it's armor plated now. Maybe he would have gone down to one or two of these in the past. And that's a credit to Steve Early and the Coventry team. But they're holding their heads in their hands now. They just want this final bell to come. Good shot again from Moon. Moon's the one applying all the pressure in there. But look at the guts and determination of Pippi coming back with that combination. This turn is a real classic in there, real even money fight. So much pride, so much courage shown from both men. That looked low from Alex Moon. Larry O'Connor was about to step in. Pippi didn't complain. He's just trying to hold on, Dean Pippi. Looks at his corner. And the gum shield starts to come loose as he blows for air. Well, watch these two. An absolute credit to the sport of boxing. A fascinating fight. And, well, we still aren't totally sure of the outcome. Well, you'd have to say Pippi's got to be in front. There's a good round there for Moon. Moon applying all the pressure. Well, look at that. Pippi landing nearly 200 punches to Moon's 160. It's been quality. Both corners shouting at their men. This means so much to them. Keep sharp, don't get involved with the brawl. If you do, don't be that spill off. Look in, look in. Yeah, Alan. Good one. It has to be snappy. Every punch has to be snappy. Bang, and it has to come back high. It's catching your buddy, but not as much as you're cutting him. What about you? Yeah, Pippi, four up as we listen to wonderful corner sound from two teams who want this so very much, Spencer. Well, they are both in the position where, like I said at the beginning, is make or break, even more so for Pippi. And he's a man, been, like he's fighting like that this evening. He knows that this would have been his last opportunity. And at the moment, I've got him with his nose in front by four rounds. Final three minutes. Alex Moon surely will have one last surge. A huge effort for a man that has been 12 rounds before against Karim Nasha, before against Charles Shepard, and before against John Joe Owen. He knows the distance, but Pithy is putting in a tremendous effort. The spirit and heart that the Coventry Super Featherweight has shown tonight. And oh, how he wants to hold on. The moon really going for this one now in this last round. Pippi trying to go with him, but Moon's the one that looks desperate in there, really piling on the pressure. Pippi hanging on in there now. Pippi told us he was up for this. He was so confident. He was even talking about a Commonwealth defence against Craig Doherty from Scotland that's been promised if he wins this. So he was right. He's boxed the fight of his life. And still, he hangs in there, and Moon can't find the vital hooks to the body. Moon complaining there that Pippi's head's going down too low. Moon again, the one really piling on the pressure here, but Pippi coming back with his own little bursts. Recently, we saw a chess match between Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales, two of the very best fighters in the world. This has been one at a much lower level, but look how much it means to both of them. This is one of the domestic scraps of the year so far. We've had some, we've had some good ones. Nicky Booth and Stephen Oates, Takaloo and Gary Logan. And this one has been 
quality because both have shown so much pride. But it's pithy for me that deserves this. Yeah, 50 to 1, boxing. The bear all the way through this contest, putting the combinations together beautifully. Alex Moon, as we thought, has come on strong in the last four rounds. The Pippi built up a big lead, and Pippi trying to go with him here. What a tremendous last round this is. Punch for punch. After 11 rounds at the pace they've set, particularly Dean Pippi, he can still put it all together. Look how much it means to the commentary fighter. Everybody's on their feet here. They know he's got 10 seconds before Dean Pithy will surely be crowned the Commonwealth Super Featherweight Champion. It is the night of his life, and Dean Pithy finally comes of age at 28. He's put together a boxing masterclass, and the commentary supporters are on their feet. It was a mini classic. Look at Steve Early and Dean Pithy there. And Spencer, well, you were with him for so long. You must be so proud of your man and the spirit and effort that Alex Moon made in keeping up with him. Of course, I am. I'm proud of Pithy and what he's done in there, the way he put the shots together, moved around the ring, boxed beautifully. And Alex Moon, to his credit, he boxed beautifully as well because it takes two to make a great fight. Moon played his part, tried right till the end, but there just wasn't enough. And Pippi, deserved winner. I had him winning by five points towards the end there. A boxing underachiever, they called him. Well, Dean Pippi tonight has proved why he was such a talented amateur. And I'll tell you something, I wonder if Nassim Hammer's watching this with a wry smile that the man who beat him in the amateurs has finally got a domestic title that he deserves. The Commonwealth champion, Dean Pithy. Magnificent moment for him. Yeah, you can see what it means to him. You can see the passion in his face. He's worked all his life for this. Finally, it's come, and full credit to him. What a night for Coventry. What a night for Dean the Pitbull Pithy from Willen Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of fantastic boxing, your referee Larry O'Connell has scored 116 to 115 in favour of the winner and the new Commonwealth Super Featherweight Champion, Dean the Pippa Pippa. What a magnificent advertisement for professional boxing. He's Ladies back and to present the belt, nearly a decade after British he won the English ABA featherweight champion. Jones. Dean Pithy takes a major professional belt here, the Commonwealth super featherweight crown. But only one round in it. All those defeats seem to take something from him against Gary Thornhill, Matabola, although he put Ladies that one right, didn't he? Michael Gomez, Alex and then Moon. against Aviv Jelti. But he has dug very, very deep. And all this in front of his home public. Not, it must be said, not the big crowd we were expecting here tonight, but the pithy faithful showed up again. And they are the ones who get rewarded by seeing their man win a big one at last. And it was magnificent. Praise also to Alex Moon. But Dean Pithy is milking the moment, and who can blame him? We could be in for some more big nights here in Coventry. Here's our winner and his new trainer who takes great credit, Steve Early, with Adam Smith. Well, finally, Dean Pithy. <laughs> At the age of 28, after so long, you have the Commonwealth title in the night of your life. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. I just want to say thanks for everyone having faith in the tip ball. I love you. I love the lot of you. all my fans. You know, I just, I'm glad I've done it for you, lot of Coventry. It's down to this man here, Steve Early, who's put me through it the past six, seven weeks, and uh, Kev having faith in me. And uh, I'll just come back and I'll come back stronger. You know, you've seen the real pit ball there. 
I'm just buzzing my head off. You made a very, very fast start, but Alex Moon stuck with you. It was a quality affair. And do you know it was level going into the final round? Oh, no, I didn't know it was level. I thought I'd won the first eight rounds by my boxing ability. He weren't catching me at all. But then, I, you know, my, my left hand started dropping, as Spencer always says, stop dropping my left hand. And uh, Steve was saying, come on, use that right. You know, it was Steve Early that got you through this oh. tonight. I mean, the, the corner sound was fantastic, and uh, you thought he boxed brilliantly, didn't you? Uh, he boxed absolutely sensationally. I mean, you can't underestimate the caliber of fighter that Alex Moon is. He's a tremendous fighter, and for Dean to pull it out, everybody says yeah. Dean hasn't got an engine. God, he was like the, the, the Stevenson's rocket tonight. He was fabulous. You wanted this, didn't you? Oh, without a doubt. I just wanted to prove to all my friends that you know, Dean Piffy is not just another has been. I'm back now. I want to stay at the top, you know, two, two, two defences, I mean, I made, I made, shush, I made, I made the weight, leave it out, uh, you know, I made, I made the weight so easy as well, you know, all down to Steve, and just like, my dedication and that, I thought, this is my last chance now, Dean Piffy has got to turn, turn it on, and, you know, turn it on it did, I'm just like, chuffed, you know, I've done it for my mates, Kev, Steve, my mum and dad, you know, everyone is so chuffed now. Yeah. Don't get drunk, I think. <laughs> yeah, and you're Charles, and you deserve it. Well done tonight, Dean. Thank you.